Hello, welcome to another video by Research Hub. In this video, I will show you how you can use BibExcel to make a close citation square matrix file for close citation analysis. When you open BibExcel for the first time, you need to make sure these configurations are set. For the frequency distribution, have the whole string selected and that the sort descending is ticked on. Put CD Charlie Delta in the old tag section and have any separated field in the analysis field. When you have it set, you can begin by using BibExcel. So go find your uh, citation file in your specific folder. So in my case, I have a BibExcel folder under the directory and it's a, and it's 500 most late article, latest articles on the topic of national culture. First you need to mark the text file and click edit doc file and replace line feed with carriage return. You can keep the downloaded version if you want. Uh, next, have the text to file marked. Click on MISC, convert to dialog format, and convert from Web of Science plain text. If you are using other type of databases, then you need to select the appropriate database. In my case, I have a plain text from Web of Science. You can keep the DUI number at the end. Now you receive a doc file. When you have the doc file, click on prep. You don't have to keep ordering. When you have the out file, you can edit the out file for convert upper lower case and good for cited reference strings. Then on the low file, click on edit out files keep only author's first initial. When you have the first file, make sure you have the whole string selected and the sort descending option ticked on. And click on start. What you receive now is the actual citation file, which is all the references in the pool of your original citation file. So this is where you can select the appropriate references depending on your analysis. Either if you want to do the top 100 most cited references, top 50, top 25, etc. In our case, in our example, let's just say I'm interested in the top 100 most cited references. So I need to mark and select 100 cited references. I can do it by either holding shift or command for MacBook users and hold down to mark the 200. But you can also find row number 100, hold shift and command and select the first article. And you mark the specific 100 ones. When you have them marked, click on analyze, co-occurrence and select units via list box. Now we have the 100 cited references in our interest. Continue to have them marked and select the first file from previous, previously. And then click on Analyze, Co-occurrence, and Make Pairs via List Box. It's asking if you want the frequency uh, next to the uh, to the author, but it's not necessary for this analysis. So you can click on no and then press OK. You now received a co occurrence pair file. Having the COC file marked, click on Analyze, List Units and Pairs, click on K. Now you received a CCC file. 
make sure that the CCC file have the equal number of the references you selected from the citation file, meaning it should be 100. In my case, we have 100 CCC articles here, so we've done it correctly. Having these marked within the CCC file, mark the COC file, click Analyze, and make a matrix for MDS, etc. You will have several questions, so make sure you do this in the specific order I'm telling you. First, click on OK. Click on No. We do not want to only have lower left matrix. We want to have a squared matrix, so click Yes. We want it to be transposed, click Yes. And we want it to be sorted alphabetically, so we click Yes. And now it will confirm we will have 100 units and the matrix will gain a specific number of cells for lower left matrix. Click OK. Now we have received the co-citation matrix file. But you can also open this with Excel or other similar software. So if you go to your folder where you have your specific plain file, you will also receive the specific BibExcel output files. And you want to look for the MA2 file. And this is the call citation matrix file. So if you wish to use this call citation matrix file for other statistical programs like SPSS, you first have to change it and edit it a little bit. First, uh, we want to have a column with the author names as well, with the row. So insert the column. You can copy the whole row, then paste and transpose. OK. Make sure that you don't actually copy an empty cell. You can do this by copying number one and control on the empty cell. Copy the row with the, with the others, paste in and transpose. You will see we also have the author names on the columns and on the rows. If you wish to use this file for specific um, analysis like factor analysis or clustering analysis, you need to make sure that the, the value where the author names are the same should be set to 1. So unfortunately you can do you should do you can do this manually by putting one into all these authors So after you put in ones with the same author names for each cell, then you can use this co-citation matrix file for further analysis. So this was an overview and tutorial on how to use BibExcel to make this co-citation square matrix file. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Thank you.